So it is week three this time. So this week we're going to do some fun recipes. I want to say thank you to everyone that joined in last week's premiere, including last week's uh, 8 p.m. live chat, which was awesome. We were just talking about a lot of different things, but it was super fun. So every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a live. So make sure you join this week and then watch the premiere of the What I Eat in a Week. So I'm going to show you guys some quick little carb hacks today. I'm going to start off the day with a nice uh, skillet. And I'm going to show you guys how to find things at the grocery store that work for your diet if you're trying to stay under 20 net carbs. And these tricks will work when you're trying to make your food taste really good. So guys, let's roll. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is make a nice little skillet today uh, for our kind of like brunch. So I did pick this up at the grocery store before I started keto and I had it in the freezer. So I was looking at the nutritional facts on the back. Now you can go ahead and check out the hash browns that are available at your store, but this is what this one said. So first, people ask me about calories. Usually a lot of the stuff that you eat on keto, the calories aren't even that high to begin with anyways. So the serving size on this one is 3 fourths cup for 60 calories. It is 13 grams minus 1 gram, which will give you 12 grams. So we would say 12 grams divided by 3. So that would give you uh, 4 net carbs. And the 4 net carbs, instead of the 3 fourths cup, you would downgrade it to a quarter of a cup. So a quarter cup of the potatoes, guys, will be uh, 4 net carbs. Now, think about that. You could have a little bit of potatoes. And fill it with vegetables, like obviously a little bit of peppers and onions. I'll probably take some of this out because that's a bit much. And I did go ahead with that turkey sausage kibasi. And we're going to do two eggs over easy on top. And even if you want to get extra fancy, you can go ahead and use a zero net carb bread and just slice one up and put some butter on both sides. So this is a hack that I found. Like I said, if you do the math and the calculations out, and like I said, for that serving, it's 60 calories. So you divide that 60 by 3 that's 20 calories for this serving right here so it's 20 calories for this for net carbs so there's tricks to this guys this is just a component for me to teach you guys hopefully it kind of helps you guys out but that's how I calculate the net carbs and things the sausage has none um, the eggs have none and these probably have a few you can calculate this out but I'm probably not gonna use the whole thing so you just kind of sum it together I'll give the whole skillet itself about five net carbs for the serving so that's how I do it hopefully that helps and hopefully you can go ahead to the grocery store look at the products and figure out whether they work for you or not you don't have very long time. what is your verdict find the defendant guilty the deadly narcotic hey, to the for the jury. you've got to get a hold of yourself
baby.
Happy Wednesday, y'all. So it is midweek, and I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys like that, but I wanted to say hey. So I'm going to make a quick little brunch, fun brunch type of meal right now. I do have some leftover cauliflower mac, so I'm going to use that and incorporate the salmon from last night into it and add some eggs and try to make it kind of fancy, kind of like a Benedict, something like that, of that type of sort. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, cauliflower mac and cheese, honestly, sometimes I eat it with ketchup. So you can eat it whatever way you want to. So it's almost going to be like a substitute for like a hash brown instead of having it, you know, the way we made it, made it in the beginning of the week. So if you do the cauliflower mac correctly and it's dry enough or it's not like watery enough, it can definitely kind of like substitute as kind of like potato. So that's one thing about it that I like. So that's what I'm going to do today, guys. Um, and tonight we're going to do shrimp. I'm going to attempt to do, um, not attempt, I'm going to do fried rice again. I'm, I saw a few more recipes, and I'm going to try to amplify the fried rice up this time. I'm going to use some shrimp in it and uh, just a little bit of vegetables, mixed vegetables, but I'll show you guys how to measure everything out. So I'm super excited. And don't forget, I am going to do dessert this week, so I'm going to show you guys dessert maybe tomorrow. So let's roll. All right, guys, so here are the leftovers that I have. I still have a lot of cauliflower, but like I said, if you cook it correctly, it should give you like, you know, square pieces of cauliflower mac and cheese. And here goes some of the shredded, I shredded up some of the salmon. So we're gonna plate this, obviously, once I pop it in the microwave, and we're just gonna make our egg over easy. I decided to go ahead and add two slices of turkey bacon, and you guys will see how everything comes together. But this is what the mac and cheese looks like after three days being made. And this is a salmon from last night's dinner. So I'm just kind of reusing things and creating fun keto tasty meals with it.
so it is thursday so i'm coming a little late afternoon right now and i wanted to go ahead and try to make some pig in the blankets with you guys so i'm going to do that quickly as a kind of like a nice little snack for the afternoon before i go ahead and make my shrimp fried rice tonight now the reason why i did not make it yesterday is because yesterday i was unwell at nighttime so i did not feel good last night so i went to sleep very early so i did switch my fasting time today so i ended up eating at 11 o'clock today instead of like two or one so i ate at 11 so i'll probably kind of shorten it up a little bit but I mean it is what it is last night I had well yesterday I had what I showed you guys for breakfast I then had a yogurt and then that's when I started feeling sick so um, I went to sleep I woke up had some water I had a lot of fluids yesterday after and no food but I'm fine today so today we're just gonna roll on with it not every week is gonna be playing the same way sometimes things are gonna happen they gotta get in the way but keto's still working for me so I'm happy about that I do wish I had like some soup yesterday because I just was not feeling good but it is what it is I'm fine now so it is what it is so i'm going to quickly make the pig in the, the pigs in the blanket and then tonight we're going to do our shrimp i'm actually going to make it a seafood fried rice so seafood fried rice tonight all right guys doing all right bumble it's fake kills one time one time one time stand up baby one time one time it's about to be lego in the prime Them girls, them I come, them I feel alive One by one Them I step in on me yard, them I enter Them be two by two Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah Go low Man I tell them, man I tell them, man I tell them Me them go slow Them I feel it on my vibe and see yeah, these girls Them go down Girls, them a coming over. Aye. Bad man, me a while a lover. Girl, come, them a be my lover. Aye. Bad man, me a never waste time. Them a girl, them a come, them a never count time. One time, me a never waste time. Them a girl, them a come, them a try my time. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I tell me they go, go. See the girl, them a slow, slow. Bad man on the road, road. See the girl, them go down. guys so tonight we're going to make our seafood fried rice so I did have some fresh shrimp that I seasoned yesterday so I'm gonna use this now I went to the grocery store to pick up a few vegetables and stuff like that and I found um, this seafood mix now because I have shrimp I'm not gonna use everything in there I'm probably gonna take some of the squid out some calamari some of the mussels um, and I'll just probably take a few of those out and then put that in this and mix that with the um, fried rice I do have some diced up onions, some diced up green peppers. I do have my pan right here heating up so I can do the fried rice first. So I use a green giant rice cauliflower. It has the measurements and everything for the carb intake. So I use the green giant rice veggies, the cauliflower one. This one's really good. And I don't get the one with flavor. I'm going to fry this out and add egg to it. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And then after the rice is done, I'm going to separate the rice out and we're going to go in with our veggies. So I have broccoli, a little bit of um, cabbage. The mixed vegetables, two-thirds of a cup was about uh, seven net carbs, but I did a half a cup or like a third of a cup instead because I didn't want to use all of it. It is a big serving size. It's good. It lasts about two days, so I said it's fine. If you split it out, it's not going to go over the carbohydrate intake. You just eat in moderation. Um, I do have sesame seed, soy sauce, sesame oil, which really gives it the kick, garlic powder, pepper, and pink Himalayan salt, and I'll also add a little hot um, red crushed uh, pepper flakes to it as well too for spice, and yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start the cauliflower rice first, and then like I said, we'll start in with this stuff after.
Alrighty guys, so that basically wraps up the video for this week. I hope you guys enjoy the recipes. I basically had leftovers for Friday. The cauliflower mac and cheese, I still have it till this moment right now, which is Saturday, so it lasts a while. I end up freezing it and then I just had it with some sliced up hot dogs in the air fryer and that was what I had. And the leftover seafood fried rice for Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, guys. Um, I will actually be on live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys, so make sure you guys join join me for live um, this was a fun week guys I hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these fun little hacks I hope you guys like the carb hacks as well too because it is hard when you're trying to do keto and you want to find interesting things to eat but all in all hopefully you guys took something from today's video guys do not forget guys to thumbs up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and I will catch you guys in a later one bye